we've looked at the end user, whether it be a council or whether it be one of the large fleet operators in the waste management sector, and asked what do they require from a vehicle. Have you ever completely written something off only to find out later you were wrong? These EVs might be the ultimate comeback story. With so many internal combustion engine vehicles already on the road, how do local governments and councils achieve net zero cities on schedule and within budget? Lunas could well have the answer. At Silverstone, the birthplace of Formula One, Lunas Applied Technologies and Lunas Design are hard at work converting vintage automobiles and trash trucks to electric power, reducing embedded carbon emissions, saving money and extending the vehicles' useful lives. The goal is to reduce emissions one car at a ton by changing automobiles and retiring engines. Consider a scenario in which you own 500 cars in your fleet. If you decide to switch them to new electric vehicle substitutes, those 500 cars will inevitably wind up somewhere else and will continue to emit emissions as a result of their extended lives. The important thing to remember is that engines are destroyed when a car enters Lunas, one car at a time bringing the emissions down. But when it comes to the bin lorries, Lunas is giving these outdated Mercedes Iconic Euro 6s the full electric makeover rather than simply a short and shoddy conversion with a lot of batteries. These cars deliver performance, technology, exquisitely designed seats, and a user experience so well thought out that even a Tesla Model S in ridiculous plus mode would be envious. Emotion visited the team to learn more. These repurposed electric trucks are created from Euro Econic 6 vehicles that come in and undergo an electric makeover. These ones, however, weigh 570 kilograms and contain 4 to 6 65.5 kilowatt batteries apiece. Actually, a cell manufacturer in the UK provides them and they're built here. The design is now quite precise and made to optimize the amount of area available for gathering trash. Now the range that you want depends entirely on the various local authorities and routes, which is why there are only 4 to 6 packs. Certain regions are hillier than others and some are far more crowded than others. Thus, Lunas can collaborate with waste management firms or local government agencies to determine the precise range of requirements. However, the maximum range is between 150 and 160 miles per hour and 160 miles. Even though each battery pack adds 570 kilograms to the trunk's total weight, the Department of Transportation has granted special permission that allows the vehicle to still haul 10 tons of trash. The fact that this is strong is what makes it so exciting right now. It has a lot of power. It really boasts 3,143 kilowatt of power and 6,800 newton meters of torque, which is probably larger due to the several Formula One engineers that work at Lunas. And that implies that even with 10 tons of trash inside of it, this is a real legal car that you might employ in a car chase. Are these trucks tough to drive? Actually, it's quite effortless to drive and requires very little effort. It has a driver calibration applied to it. And that's partially due to the fact that they don't want to offer customers a 26-ton car that can go from 0 to 50 miles per hour in only 6 seconds. Not only would it be foolish, but they also need to make an effort to save energy. Hence, they installed a driver calibration on this car, which makes it operate exactly as it would if there were no differences at all. It operates similarly. Hence, instead of building vehicles for a single purpose, as in the case of traditional bespoke conversions, they've examined the end user, whether it be a council or one of the major fleet owners in the waste management industry, and asked what they need from a vehicle. The fact that they can see so clearly will increase the overall safety of the event. These seats are much more comfortable than the ones that came before them, in part because they have a heated steering wheel and seats as well. Additionally, keep an eye on your steps. Having the full height door is really convenient. However, what's with the upscaling? You do consider other industries. In the aviation and marine industries, this is a very prevalent practice. No other has tried the formula to see whether you can upcycle an existing product only in the car industry. Thus, if you look at these industries, you can see instances of this happening already all across the world. 
They constructed a plant to handle 1,600 automobiles annually, as evidenced by Silverstone. However, they're taking over another facility that focuses just on the upcycling part of the company, namely strip reblasting. Additionally, it's crucial that you carry this out at scale, otherwise no effect will be seen. You have to scale to meet the demand that there is when you consider the requirement that operators throughout the world have for this transformation. And since this must occur during the transition of over 2 billion automobiles, it's crucial that they lead the way in this business in the automotive upcycling component that others follow. Let's see how the upscaling is done. Lunas has been hard at work refining the system required to ensure that this can truly scale up. Additionally, they can produce 1,000 recycled electric trucks annually in their 250,000 square foot factory. And the fact that the procedure is actually rather simple explains why they can. With 11 very important steps in the dance, it's an 11 packed process. First, a car is brought in and its 7.7 liter inline 6 cylinder diesel engine is taken out, retired and recycled. After that, there are mechanical assemblies and after that, some assemblies like your cooling system, auxiliary systems and powertrain are installed. Next are the rear carrier and the battery cradle. The high voltage power distribution unit or HVDPU comes next, followed by the electric power takeoff or ETO which powers the hydraulic system and allows the bins to be lifted. And then, the last move of the dance where the carbon and interior are combined to create an incredibly gorgeous trash truck. The Lunas Group has said that it would reorganize in order to accommodate the time frames for the manufacturing of commercial vehicles after this film is shot. This is in line with the difficult market conditions brought on by expected and verified changes to the UK's prohibition on IC commercial cars. But Luna still intends to build these cars later when regulations and the market will be more favorable to stimulate demand. Thus, purchasing an electric vehicle that has been repurposed obviously results in a reduction in carbon emissions. However, you're also conserving a significant quantity of embedded carbon. Furthermore, a car like the Mercedes Euro Econic 6 may only be operated for 70,000 to 90,000 miles while being built to last a million. Lunas may therefore save up to 80% of the embedded carbon by coming here and upcycling. And every year, a plant such as this will save the same amount of carbon as the Eiffel Tower. Just imagine. On top of that, they're currently concentrating on providing services to the waste management industry. It goes without saying that the Mercedes Econic, one of the platforms they've begun on, offers a wide range of applications. However, their primary goal is to ensure that the product and aftercare are delivered accurately and meets everyone's needs. One very important aspect of every one of our lives is waste. It's evident that this is the appropriate use for the wide variety of vehicle classes. In the upcoming years, a lot will come out of Luna's. That's all guys. So what do you think about this mind-blowing makeover? Do let us know your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to our channel for more information.